Welcome back, everybody, as we swing back into the week with another episode in our series on primatology. In this video, we'll be taking a look at four more types of New World monkeys, Sakis, Bearded Sakis, Alcaris, and Titis. These are a group of primates native to the Amazon rainforest and are our second to last New World monkeys we'll discuss in this series. So put on your explorer goggles and maybe some insect repellent as we learn more about Sakis, Alcaris, and Titis. Sakis range across most of the Amazon rainforest from Colombia to Brazil and live in the trees of the jungle. These diurnal monkeys spend their daylight downtime using all four arms and legs swinging and leaping about the trees. While they may have impressive verticals, these monkeys are actually incredibly shy. But what researchers do know is that their diet consists of about 90% fruit. Like their naked-faced relatives, the bearded sake also live in trees and move about during the day. Pretty much everything about these monkeys are the same, with the exception of the aptly named beard. Sporting chin warmers that would make a Civil War general look like a prepubescent lad Bearded Sockies rock the Abraham Lincoln look, although without the top hat. Speaking of facial features, perhaps the most uniquely faced New World monkey is the Alcari. These primates have a bright red face, but there are species with less intense coloration. What makes these primates interesting is that they are both difficult to find and also travel in massive numbers. I smell a conspiracy theory brewing. Researchers have spotted Alcari packs as large as 100 members, but have only found Alcaris in the northern Amazon. TTs cover three different genera of monkeys. That's probably because of how diverse these species are. While their sizes are all relatively the same and equally small, the color patterns in their hair vary widely across species, with some dark earthy tones like brown and black, and others bright reds and oranges. They are all, however, native to the Amazon rainforest, and most species can be found in eastern Brazil. There is not much known about Sakis, Alcaris, and Titis, largely for the same reason researchers are having trouble studying several primate species. Deforestation is crippling the arboreal ecology of these incredible creatures. You may be noticing a trend here. To save these distant relatives, we as a species, Homo sapiens to be precise, need to work together to help save these amazing animals and their homes. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to see more videos on anthropology. Also, be sure to let me know what your favorite primate is in the comments below.